Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go through this Nico 52A random pick with weight. This problem probably not the best problem in the world. You can see uh, so many unlike, and people are complaining. Uh, they have difficulty understanding uh, what's this asking. But this question was asked by uh, Facebook for 36 times in past six months. So there must be some value from this uh, problem. Let's take a look at it. You are given a zero indexed array of positive integers, W, where WI describes the weight of the i index. You need to implement the function pack index, which randomly picks an index in the range between zero and the length minus one inclusive and returns it. The probability of picking an index is on the weight at the i index divided by all the weights combined. So uh, let's take a, take a look at an example. The weight that we are given is zero, uh, sorry, is one and three. So basically, the, um, the way that I understand this is the number for the zero index, I mean, the number, uh, the weight, sorry, the weight for the number zero is one and the weight for the number one is three okay so that translates with the following right the probability of picking the number zero so again the probability of picking the number zero is its weight divided by all the weights combined the sum of all the weight right so its weight is one and all the weight the sum of all the weight is four that's why the probability is 25 percent and uh, the probability of picking the number one it is its weight divided by sum of the weight which is four in this case so its weight is three divided by the sum of all the weight is four so the probability he did his uh, seventy five percent. I hope this is clear, and uh, people does uh, do struggle understanding what this is asking, and that's why there are so many unlikes. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some more examples. So in this example, we initialized uh, the weight to be one. That means we can only pick one number. Because this is the weight for the number of zero, right? Which is a hundred percent. That's why there's only the, the only option is to return the number zero, right? So that's why you can only return zero with a probability of one. I hope this is clear. Let's look at one more example. So this is what we just discussed. Okay. The weight for the number of zero is one, and the weight for the number one is three. Okay, so basically, again, that's what we just discussed, right? And um, so in this case, um, how many times? One, two, three, four, five. And uh, four out of five times, we have a uh, number one, and one of our one out of five times we have the number of zero. So, but regardless, in, this is a small sample, right? But in the true, true probability, the number of getting one is three out of four. And uh, the true probability of getting zero is one out of four, okay? And, it's, and as, this, uh, is, uh, as this is stated, right? This is a randomized problem Multiple also uh, multiple answers are accepted. Okay, let's dive in. So uh, to the solution, actually this is pretty straightforward, and the hardest part is to understand this problem. Uh, what is the question? What is this asking? So um, in the init function, we have a um, self dot distribution dictionary, and basically this is to keep track of the distribution, the probability distribution for 
each of the number that being uh, packed randomly, okay? And the probability, the this one is a cumulative probability. Initially, the cumulative probability will be 0%. And for all the candidate number, again, so this will be all the way from zero to the length minus one. That's why we can use the range. This is all the possible numbers being packed. Okay. And for the cumulative probability, we add the weight divided by the sum of the weight and add it to the prior probability, cumulative probability. So essentially what comes out from this is looks like something looks like this. Okay. Um, the number zero has 25% of the impact, cumulative probability 25%. And the number one has a cumulative probability of 100%. Basically 100 minus 25 is 75%, which is the probability of one being picked. And if I, so later on, I'm gonna introduce you to the pack index and understand you understand what why I'm, I'm doing this and now let's move on oh before we're moving on uh the time complexity is going to be big over n to construct this init function and now let's move on to the peg index function so first we have a lower bound um and then we have a random number basically this is a uniform random number between zero and one. So each time this, this function will give us a uh, randomly, uh, that is uniformly distributed number anywhere between zero and one with, with the equal probabilities. So it could be 0 0.55, 0 0.15, 0 0.23, 0 0.78. All of them has the same probability. And for the upper bound in this self log distribution, Right, so the upper bound right now we have a 25% and 100%. Right, if the random number we have from this rent function is between the lower bound and the upper bound, again, the lower bound initializes as a 0%. If the random number that we packed is between that range, and then we just return that number. Otherwise, we will return, we will increase the next lower bound to be the current upper bound. Does it make sense? So, essentially, the f so we basically look at intervals, right? So, the first interval is um, 0 to 25%, right? And, and the second interval, it is sorry 25 percent and the second interval is 25 percent to 100 percent so this is the lower bound this is the upper bound and this is the new lower bound and this is upper bound right and then if we have a random number if that random number is between this range one of these two ranges and then we will pick that number correspond to that probability range so for example if we have an area uh, the rand number is equal to let's say 0 0.12 okay and the value correspond to this range that's the end is defined by this dictionary right so it's zero and the value defined by this range it is one right so in this case if the given random number that we choose from this function is 0 0.12 which falls in this interval and we will generate we will return a number zero however if the given random number let's say is 0 point, i don't know 86 okay which is in this range and this is the number we will return okay and as you can see, the probability of picking this number is 
and the probability of picking this number is 75 percent okay I, I hope this is clear and uh oh the time complexity for this function is b over n as well so basically we just look through uh the all the possible distributions okay submit that and let's wait it works so this is my solution i hope this is helpful if it is please like and subscribe thanks for so much for watching see you in the next one